All right, I think tagging is pretty important and helpful in identifying, I'd say, bad cops, maybe bad people in general. I mean, cops can be used as an example for my situation, but uh, pretty much you could use a tag for anything. I will say, historically, I've experienced malicious tagging. There's positive tagging, of course, uh, and there's negative tagging. Now, tagging has come up with the rise of Facebook, all right? I don't think it existed before. I'm not familiar with it ever existing before Facebook. And it took it took a, maybe a couple years into Facebook before tagging became popular. Anyway, before you could tag people into pictures. I've experienced a malicious tagging um, when my grandma died a couple of years ago from a cousin. She took a picture of this messed up house and, you know, it was after Grandma died, and she blamed it all on me, saying I messed it all up. But uh, there was other people stirring things up. I mean, the house needed to be, uh, like, cleaned out anyway. So, you know, things things just, you know, she came a couple of months. She, she missed the funeral. My cousin missed the funeral and came, like, a couple weeks afterward and saw such a a change in the house, you know, she always remembered it looking a certain way with grandma there, and uh, it just, everything was, re was rearranged, and she was upset about it, and she, she uh, tagged me as, uh, you know, the face to uh, go after, all right, she eventually, she pulled it down, all right, after arguing with her and her friends, giving me all kinds of snide comments and everything, you know, it was it was it was a pretty pretty annoying. All right, I mean, yeah, and I'll say I didn't think it was fair, but uh, you know that's that's what uh, can happen. She pulled it down, but uh, you know I, I would have been fine if she kept it up. Whatever, you know. I expect professionals to act professional, and everything in their manner and in the, in the, what they do it should be professional. They can if if they're having mental issues on the police force. You know, where they're saying, oh, they were uh, at a weak point because they had a previous, I don't know, a murder scene they witnessed. And they, they, they're trying to save the murder victim's life. And, you know, they're all upset. And then they had to go to the next call. They're psychologists, all right, that'll help these cops work through their mental issues if they have, if they've gotten, um, like, really affected by a, a previous call, all right. So I expect them to be professional at all times because they're given uh, uh, the, the professional help for free. Um, so when I have an interaction with a cop, I, don't, I see it as open game. They work for the public. Um, they're attacking me for, for my lifestyle, for, for being in a certain location, for being who I am. All right. It's, it's only fair, especially when they can go online and uh, and uh, research me, all right, so they, can, they can easily, they can get my social security number, all right, they can get, they can get whatever, they say they can't get pictures of me right now until they start arresting me, but uh, they can get all the, all the stuff they, they need to know about me, and um, I'm not trying to look for their information, even though they can do all that to me, all right, I'm not trying to look for their information. What I'm trying to do is if, if I have an interaction with a cop, whether it's good or bad, I'll make comments if I think it's good or bad, but I'm going to make it as that moment that we shared in, in the video is, is going to be a historical reference point, all right? It's going to be that, that tag as part of the historical reference point. And I don't know how effective it is you'd even be able to search the cop's name. Uh, after I put it into the search tags on YouTube, um, but it's there. At least you know I, I have it. I, I have a reference to the name. I could search it myself if I remember the name later. If I wanted to refer to them later for something, uh, you know, to refer to the incident with them in particular about something, you know, um, and it's just you know I, I need, but I need full names from them. All right, so I'm gonna need. Uh, full names, and that's something that they're very hesitant to give. I'm not asking for any any per other personal information. I'm not asking for anything else except for their names. They could find out all kinds of great stuff about me, 
you know, um, and all I ask in return is their name, and it's hard for a lot of them to do that, 